Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Many of you probably know that on my website I have a number of different courses on various applications, including a course on Lightroom Classic and a course on Lightroom CC. There is, though, a feature in Lightroom CC that I neglected to cover in my course. I'm going to be making up for that this week. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on this feature and adding it to the course. But it's such a cool feature. I thought I'd also do this YouTube video and show you what I'm talking about. Now, as you can see, I have an image opened up into Lightroom CC. This new feature has to do with the unique way you could use presets in Lightroom CC. So if I go over to the presets tab, you'll notice that there's three headings, recommended, premium, and yours. Premium presets are presets that come with Lightroom. If I open up, say, Seasons, you see there's a number of different presets, and I could just hover over a preset and get a preview of what that preset will look like. Yours are presets that you either created or third-party presets that you purchased. Here, you'll see I have all the presets that I sell, and I have other ones that I created as well here. And again, like anything else, you could just hover over any of the presets and you'll get a preview of what that preset looks like. Now, this feature that I'm talking about that is unique to Lightroom CC is recommended. If I click on the recommended tab, what will happen is Lightroom will use AI to examine your image and kind of figure out what your image is about. Then it will come up with a number of different presets that were shared by the Lightroom community. These are people like you and I who have created presets and just shared them to the community. These presets then are available to you for free to apply to your image. And like any other preset, you could just hover over the preset and get a preview of what that preset will look like on your image. If you do want to say apply a preset, just click on it. And then you'll notice then that there is a slider, an amount slider that is default set at 100. If I want to make the preset heavier, of course, move it to the right or maybe lighter, move it to the left. Also, you may notice that if I hover over the preset, you'll see a little like um, link here saying more like this. If you click on that, it will re-examine your image and give you more presets that are similar. So you could get a similar preset. Also, you'll see that there's three dots in the upper right hand corner. If you click on that, you'll get a flyout menu and you'll be able to save this preset to your presets or save it as a version, like the actual image with the preset on it as a version. And then you'll see who created the preset as well. So if you save it to your presets, then it will be on the years tab over here. Now, one thing I need to stress is that these presets, these recommended presets, are only available for images you have in the cloud. So if I go over here and look at the left-hand panel, you'll notice if I click on the local images, and these are my local images, you'll notice that recommended is disabled for local images. So if I want to apply a recommended preset to this image, what I would need to do is go up here and copy this one photo to the cloud. And when I do, you'll get this. Just click OK that you're going to be copying this image to the cloud. Then it may take, you know, depending on your speed of your internet connection, it may take a bit. But then it will show up over here. Now, it hasn't shown up for me yet. But when it does, oh, it has. I haven't. I'm just not looking at it. It's right here. And now, because it's in the cloud, you'll get recommended presets. And you'll be able then to hover over them. Also notice at the top you have categories. So if you say want to look at only black and white presets, click on that heading and then it will just give you black and white presets that should look decent on an image such as this. And then you could again hover over them. And don't be dissuaded like if one like looks really dark or something like that. As I mentioned, if you click on it, you do have that amount slider and you can move it back. Although with the black and white preset, if I move it back, I'll start to... No, it doesn't. It... I thought it would start to introduce color, but it doesn't do that. So that's good. But you could pull it back and see what it looks like. And then you could click on others as well. So if I go to back to all, because I like this black and white preset. So let's say I like that one. I want to now save it to my presets. 
and I'll just leave the original name and save it to my presets. So now if I go over to yours, save from community, it's here. Now, because it's here, if I go to my local tab and I go to an image, let's just go to an entirely different folder. Let's go to this one. You'll notice that it is available now on a local image. So if you do have a preset that is a community preset that you really like, just save it to your yours heading here like I did, and then you'll be able to apply it to your local images. Now, I do have some recommendations on using these uh, presets. What I recommend you do is apply them to a totally um, unedited image, except for one thing. What I recommend you do is I recommend that you crop the image first. So like for this image, let's just do a really quick crop. I want to make it tighter on the, uh, the honeybee in there. So you could do a quick crop like that. Then once you're satisfied with that, go to the preset tab and then hover over the presets and see if you find one that you like. You can see here that a lot of these are changing the color dramatically. So you, um, you could get an idea. Now, I know many people don't use presets at all. Uh, but what I kind of like to use these recommended presets for is just to give me new ideas. Because quite often, um, I'm editing so much in, quote, my style. And my style is getting stale. Um, what I could do is I could come to... Uh, get a recommended look, and maybe it will take me in a new direction. And then let's say I click on one that I like. Let's say this one. What I can do is I mentioned you could go to this amount slider and make it more intense by moving it to the right or just to make it less intense to the left. But what you should do probably is go over to your actual edit panel and see what it did. And then you could close down the presets panel and then you could touch it up. So if you like it and just say, you know what, I just want to make it a little maybe brighter. And then maybe I want to go to effects and I want to add a vignette to it. So you could use the preset to get you close to where you want to be and then come up, come in and touch up the adjustments to make it more yours. So that's it. That's what I wanted to talk about was this uh, feature that's available for images you have in the cloud. It's the recommended presets, and they're recommended from the Lightroom community. And that's a link there. So if you click on that, that will bring you to the Lightroom community, and you could see what it's all about here. You could share your edit. You could see here. Click these three dots here, and you could see the guidelines, and you could provide feedback to Adobe about the community as well. So that is the recommended presets in the cloud version of Lightroom, Lightroom CC. And again, if you have purchased my Lightroom CC course, I'll be adding a more in-depth video on these types of presets to that course sometime this week. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.